Are you serious? Are you serious? We've got some breaking news coming out of Europe. And of course, uh, Stephen Bendenoon is in the Czech Republic and he's been deciphering some of the uh, news headlines, uh, being able to translate it from Russia, his wife helping, of course, and he can get the translation of what's going on. There's some very, very concerned reports coming out of Moscow, out of the Kremlin, because apparently Ukraine is building up troops. A lot of NATO troops are building up along the, in Ukraine there, uh, in Donbass. And there is a, there's concern that NATO may be preparing for a war. And could Obama be the one that's orchestrating this? Or is this the Ukrainians severely concerned of an invasion by Russia? Well, Russia doesn't see it that way. They see it as a provocative move by NATO. Matter of fact, here is Stephen Bendenoon. He has just reported this. And uh, let's... Uh, here's some of the audio, uh, audio he has on this report. I will also put the link, full link of his report uh, in the description below. But uh, let's see if we can get there now and get some of Stephen Bendenu's uh, reporting here. Actually be something that the United States is staging all along. When I say the U.S., it could be the Obama administration that has actually got a planned plot for a Ukraine war in order to get NATO involved to get a war against Russia. Are Let's go serious? right to the breaking headlines. And by the way, guys, I'm going to tell you something. You're not going to be seeing this on the U.S. news anytime soon here, what you're about to witness here. But on TASS Russian News, as well as one other Russian language source that I was able to pull this off of, says Moscow is concerned with a buildup of Ukrainian armed forces in Donbass. This was from a diplomat of the Russian um, uh, Russian uh, government there. And this is today. This is only hours ago that this has come out. Uh, this, I, I'm assuming that the photo, though, is, a, uh, is probably one from, from the file, or file footage there. But uh, they are saying that they are building up a heavy number of tanks and armored personnel carriers yeah. there to enter into combat in Donbass, to launch a strike on Donbass there. Uh, not to mention, we already know the news that has been breaking about this incredible, uh, huge military thing that's going on in Poland, where all the different groups are going to be meeting in Poland uh, this month here as well. The borders have been closed down between Russia and Poland. What? Very tight right now. Russia closed the borders there to Poland, as well as, uh, according to C24 News, the border is closed also from the Czech Republic. Not closed completely, but extreme searches are being done on every person passing in and out of through Poland, uh, from even from EU states. It's just not an easy access any longer. It is. It's a so uh, basically. Russia deeply concerned about what's going on with these NATO buildup there at Donbass. And, and will there be an aggressive uh, push to try to shove the uh, Russian rebels and no doubt little green men from Russia, the guys that uh, are in Russia who have been fighting on behalf of the Ukrainian uh, in eastern Ukraine, trying to take over the eastern Ukraine. Will there be a push, an offensive launched by NATO and is that being orchestrated really out of Washington? And I would have to ask, does the election play anything into this? Uh, just a question. Uh, just a question. But I can say this. There is troops building up. They've had the largest war games NATO did in its history since World War II. And Russia, of course, did invade, did an annex Crimea and has been fighting a proxy war in eastern Ukraine now for over two years. There's no question about that. We have to admit that. So, having said that, is there about to be a war between NATO and Russia on the eve of an election coming up in November? Meanwhile, uh, and, and why is Russia not fully closing the borders to Poland, but making it so difficult and that might be because of the migration issue. And I really think we have to look at that, but I'm not sure. Now, having said all that, um, the question uh, that Stephen Benanoon asked was, are they preparing for war? Well, guess what? He said, you won't see this on the lamestream national media here in America. And he's right. But what you will see is an article just posted from the Huffington Post on yahoo.com. 
and it's titled, Is Israel Preparing for War Against Hezbollah? Matter of fact, let me just give you the update on this report. Out of Beirut, Lebanon, there's reports coming that how does Israel read the Middle East these days? Well, few details on this national security strategy are uh, available and publicly expressed. But at the annual security conference in mid-June, it was possible to read between the lines of the officials' uh, speeches and from a fairly accurate picture of a way those officials interpret the Middle East. The gist of the Israeli Defense Forces analysts came from Major General Javier and the chief of the IDF's military intelligence directive. As with most political speeches, the substance lies with just a few words. I'm going to say this, he said, with all due caution, but there has never been an army that knows as much about its enemy than Israel. All right, so there's uh, articles are being written. Is Israel preparing to attack Hezbollah? Well, the truth is Israel's probably preparing to be attacked by any direction, and they're not sure who's got their backs. Well, I think I know the same God that said, I will bless the nation of Israel for I have sworn a covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Stephen Bendenun, though, reporting there out of the Czech Republic with a great report. I'll put his link below, as well as this article about Israel that's been posted by the Huffington Post. I'll be back with more current world events, folks. It's getting serious. It's getting serious. And you do know that Russia is in Syria. So is the Iranians. And oh, by the way, did you know that over 2 million Israeli citizens living in Israel are Russian Jews? Did you know that? Are you serious? Give your life to Jesus Christ because we are living in the last days.